All right, let's take a look at uh, x, y, and z intercepts of 3D or three-dimensional equations. So not just the coordinates anymore, but let's get into the intercepts of them. So this information actually began, this learning began in Algebra 1 when you're doing examples like this. If the teacher said find the x and y intercepts, you liked this one for the simple fact that the y-intercept was right here because we had the slope and the y-intercept. Well. The y-intercept, you plug 0 in for x, that zeroes this out, and the answer is 5, and you've got the y. A sticking point, though, is when you were trying to find the x-intercept in this format, because then I had to put in 0 for y, put in 0 over here, and then I had to subtract 5, divide by 2, and that's what x equaled negative 5 halves, or negative 2 and a half would be the x-intercept. It's kind of a pain. That's why this is better. This is called standard form. Standard form is... Uh, a form where you have the x's and y's on the same side and it's easier to find the x and y intercepts because if I put in 0 for x I can find the y really easy because this zeroes out and it's 6 because 2 times 6 is 12. If I put in 0 for y the x is easy because this zeroes out and 3 times 4 is 12. Done. So if we build up to then three dimensions now just using the letters x, y, and z instead of just x and y it's really pretty similar. So if I wanted to find the x-intercept, that means I'm going to zero out the other letters. So 0, 0 are going to be here in my answer. So I zero this out, zero this out, and 3 times 8 is 24. There's your x-intercept. Same thing is true as we keep going. Zero out the other letters, and so then I zero out x and z, and I'm trying to find y. So 0, 0, that would be 6, because 6 times 4 is 24. Then this one finally, z-intercept, zero out x and y, zero, zero, and then z would be 24. So you can see we're looking to put zeros in the other places, just as we did back here when we were doing them linearly, now we are doing them in three dimensions. So again, zero out the other two. Remember, it's the format of x, comma, y, comma, z. That's the key. As soon as you know that, then you just zero out the other two and find the one you want. So in this one, my zeros are going to be first and last because I did them here, and then my zeros are going to be the first two, and I've got the z. So now that's leaving me an x-intercept, a y-intercept, and a z-intercept straight across that diagonal. So if I zero these other two out, the answer to this would be 5. Zero these other two out, the answer to this would be negative 4. Watch out for that sign. And then zero those two out, and the answer is 2. Now you can do x, y, and z-intercepts as well.